want to talk to you about the power of prayer and my dad's condition. So, my dad, he had no spleen, so he had no immunity that technically, so he has no spleen, so yeah. But then, I was still really sad, even though he had no spleen. But then, to make things worse, he gets infected with corona. Now, <laughs> I was hopeless, just, and I was crying, crying, crying. I was angry that, what, like, it's not fair. I mean, my dad was a good man, but he deserved all this. I mean, why? I mean, why would he do that? And then, when I started praying, he, it, I had belief, I had hope that he would come. I had faith in Jesus that he would heal my dad. And actually he did. And he is now with us, living with us, back to the family again. I mean, without him, it's like a huge loss for the family. Now, just, if you believe when you pray, you can achieve anything. When I mean anything, anything you can imagine, but it won't come in, you know, the time you want it. It might be a few weeks, maybe, maybe a few days. Well, that's how it is. Because, you know, God's answering everyone else's prayers. Well, that's what I think because of that. And the next question, is well what happened if you believe i mean if i believed in my prayer and what I, and in my prayer well then i got it so would that mean you can get it i mean yes yeah sure but you need to have faith that you're getting it that you will get it but just not at that time so it will make sense if you actually think about it more. But if you say if you want to have something, well, you have to pray and believe that you'll get it to get that thing you want. So my advice to you is that just believe when you pray and believe that you'll get it. You'll be like, oh, I just want this. I might get it. I don't know. No, you have to believe then you get you will get it now then i will show the three levels of prayer which is the lowest about the asking for things that you need so like i really need this and by the way it, 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 it's not judging you it's not like you're an amateur praying and then level three is like please no 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 it's just a, it's just how people pray so and then level two is asking for the gifts of the holy spirit like love kindness and third is just loving him and praising him for no reason at all just doing it not yeah you can do it anytime even if something good happened but you always have to do that now never accept defeat i mean if nothing comes to you and you'll not come in time don't give up please just do not why would you do that because if, if you do that then you just gave up on what you want and maybe what if you just forgive what if you need it again i mean maybe god will think that you already gave up on it so my advice number two is to just have faith that you're getting it and please do not give up and yeah just don't give up please do not and always have be belief faith in your prayers and believe that you will get it and then just pray regularly, balance your life and prayer, and believe in the power of prayer. Um, I mean, prayer is just a really nice concept. I mean, God is there for us, and God, the 
a conversation with God is technically a prayer. Now, if you need something from someone, like you're borrowing something, you're like, oh, can I borrow this? You need a conversation to do that. So you're actually having a conversation with God just for that. Well, you can talk to him in other different ways. I mean, like you can have normal chats with him sometimes. Maybe you can <coughs> imagine like you're having any events but move them and cut them a little and then leave that time for the prayer and then talk to him whatever needs and whatever you need so in conclusion i think that you should pray hard keep it balanced believe in your prayers have faith in them and you will get what you want in the end just like my dad came back Daniel from North Alton and I thank you for watching this video.